it's hard to, to just keep you know fighting against it consistently uh, very tiring uh, you find yourself you know getting tired just because you've you know had a conversation with someone because you you're trying to sort of not have these thoughts um, intrusive thoughts and odd thoughts going on at the same time you're trying to be normal um, it's a you know it's almost as if you're always uh, fighting a losing battle um, and it gets you down. John's been battling with depression since he was a teenager. It and problems with alcohol have destroyed nearly every relationship he's ever had. Although he was able to beat his addiction to alcohol in 2003, depression continued to have a drastic effect on his life and well-being. 90% of the time, you know, it would be if I'm driving along the motorway, uh, quite often I would think, if I just stick this into the barrier now, you know, it's it's not going to be shameful for my family because it's an accident. I haven't committed suicide and things like that. Um, you know, so, and, 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 and that was a daily thought, you know, and, and thinking about suicide is, is, is something that I still do, um, but it's not something I, it's something I know I would never do now. But it's just a, I don't know whether it's a suicide thought or whether it's a, I want an end to the pain. In 2013, John had a breakdown. He moved back in with his father and began to write. That's how Ex Booze Hound was born. I wanted to try and help um, people, and you know, I just thought, you know, all this talk about, you know, let's talk and 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 uh, let's get rid of stigma, um, you know, and I feel it, it was about being being completely honest and open uh, about about how I felt as a as a mentally or person or a mentalist, as I call us on on the blog. Uh, it sort of came about from um, a guy in Australia, uh, a guy called Daniel ba Danny Baker. He's uh, I've read a memoir of his, and it was the first time I'd read stuff that um, it was effing and jeffing, and it was you know all about the pain and the consistently fighting, and it just rang true with me. And I just thought, well, I don't I don't read a lot, and I don't and I'd bought this and I'd, I'd read it all in the one day even though I was going through quite a bad time when I was really struggling to concentrate. And it just captured me. And, and I sort of thought at the end that, you know, if his words can sort of, I've, I've actually spoke to him about it you know, on Twitter and stuff like that, you know, and said that, you know, your words, your memoir reignited my fight. It, it, it sort of thought, okay, I can fight against this. Um, and I just thought well, maybe through my words, I could do the same for, for others. Today, John's ex boozehound blog has readers from all over the world. He has over a thousand Twitter followers and regularly speaks with other people suffering with mental health issues through his blog. Although he still suffers himself, writing has given him a new sense of purpose. The, the, the blog is, 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 has been good for me and it's been good for other people as well. Uh, I get a lot from it, you know, because I find that it, it sort of, although I don't read a lot of it back, it, it sort of it makes sense of stuff in my head as I as I write it out on the on the iPad, um, and I and I get messages from people as well, you know, saying that my words have helped them and and, and those sort of things, and uh, I've got you know a couple of examples of people saying that you know without my words, uh, without my blog or something we've spoken about, uh, that they they think they would have killed themselves, um, and I mean, you know, like I say, you know. With a depressed mind, you you always think I've no, I've never achieved anything in life. But realistically, if if I never achieve anything else, uh, then one or two people that are still here because of some words that I've put on a blog, well, you know, it's this well, there's, there's nothing that's going to be better than that. So, you know, it's it's worthwhile carrying on. Tom Bowen for the Midland inhales Owen.